Chop for Life started a little over a decade ago. The idea is we come out, chop the leftover wood from the different clearing they do here in the forest. And then we sell it to families in the, the local area. And all the proceeds go towards a pro-life organization called the Women's Center. It's a place for women to go who are in trouble and need help, need support with their pregnancies. The Women's Center is there to just um, be a source of hope for them and, and to let them know that we're here to, to support you and this isn't something that you should respond to out of fear, but out of out of love and, and trust in the Lord. The women who come to the Women's Center are usually in a pretty vulnerable place. The world has kind of been turned upside down and they're looking for help. We don't actually ever meet the women that we are helping. We just do what we can to serve them how we can. Saturday mornings, we're out here by 9, uh, the hour of the Holy Spirit descended upon the, the apostles, and that's when... We begin our, our work uh, always with prayer, and uh, we invoke the Lord's uh, presence with us, as well as our, our Blessed Mother, so she's watching over us, as is St. Joseph, the uh, carpenter. The seminarians have a lot on their plate and a lot of other things to do, and um, sometimes Saturday mornings are the only windows of free time that we, we have here. Some days I will say definitely it's worth it. I'm excited. I'm going to excited to get out there. Other days it's difficult, but I know that there, I know that there is value, and I know that there is a purpose to it. And I think sometimes those are the days that end up being the most blessed. I have a, a great experience, whether working or meeting the people we're delivering the wood to. It's a sacrifice for those that, that come out and help. But I think it's um, what they find is they, they receive so much more than they put in. You know, how can you not enjoy? Uh, and just look at this place. It's it's good just to be out here. We spend a lot of time in the classroom and the edu in the intellectual side, which I mean I enjoy that as well. But then the physical side of it's really good. Chicago's only what 40, 50 minutes away, and yet we're out here on a thousand acres with deer and squirrels and the trees, and it's just beautiful to have this moment of peace and to be able to come out here away from everything and just focus on a on a physical labor. There's just something, there's almost something holy about that, I think. While we're chopping, while we're sacking, we're constantly talking and sharing about our faith lives, listening to music, and so we're kind of growing in fraternity as well. Like my dad, my grandpa always said, one of the biggest ways you can tell something about a man is you see their work ethic, you see how they, you see how they do physical labor. Um, and it's cool to kind of get to know some of the guys and, and see that other side of them. It's kind of a good way of using trees that have fallen over and, and died and that would otherwise just sit and kind of rot in the ground. Maybe a message of hope, you know, you might think that the only option is death, uh, but there's still life there and the fire that can come from it and warm somebody's house. We learn a lot about that in philosophy, you know, that the teleology of it, the teleological end, that everything has its purpose throughout its life. Every week I'm devoting a part of my time to use my gifts to help others in ways that they can't help themselves. And that's something I really do want to continue into my own priesthood. And I, I hope with God's good grace and the support of my brothers uh, to keep a good thing going.